for my bong Monday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, B-Mars and Shanti. We're eating something extra special today, which, which is meatball subs. Yay! This used to be one of my favorite foods back in the day, before the vegan days. Back in the day, I I cannot say I've ever had a vegan meatball sub, so this is real exciting for me. So, you got these meatballs from Trader Joe's? Whole Foods, they're the Whole Foods brand. I'm a liar, we've, sorry. We've never uh, tried them before. So they're mini meatballs. Mm -hmm. I think they're like more for, I spit. It's okay, I can see. For spaghetti. <laughs> but we thought it was cute to make, make mini meatball subs and, yeah. uh, with hot dog buns. Yeah, they are mini. And then we have vegan Trader Joe's mozzarella on top. It looks fucking bomb. Yeah, should we just dig it right on in? Yeah. I might do this middle guy. Yeah, I realized I was putting on way too much cheese and then like I slowly just started putting on less and less. It's like an ombre of cheese. I'll go for this one since it's easiest. Cheers, Cheers. our butts. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> it was just as I remembered. <laughs> so it was really nice I love the saucy bread. I did not get a big enough meat. Ball bite. I got a whole meatball in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we had opposite first bites. Mm. There we go. The meatball is surprisingly mm. like meaty. Like it, it like has held up nicely. Yeah, it looks great. Like meatball ice. Every time I've made vegan meatballs, they fall apart when you put it in the sauce. So I'm really happy that these like stay together. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Like at that point, it's just like, do you turn it into a lasagna? Like, what do you do? No. Mm. Mm. Look at the meat texture. Did you find this in the vegan, like, refrigerator? Frozen. The frozen, like, vegan fridge. By, like, the vegan meats? I want to, like, just bang everything in that fridge. Or freezer. Every time I go, I'm, like, just inspired. Mm -hmm. Like, if we don't know what to eat, all we gotta do is go to the Whole Foods vegan section. And we'll have ideas. I know, every time I go there. It's because I'm picking up something for the bangs. And I feel like every time I text you like 300 things, like, whoa! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you know what's so cute? I got the, when I did the taquitos mukbang by myself, mm -hmm. I got those in the Whole Foods frozen section. And uh, the company like DM'd me and asked me for my address and they sent me like a bunch of coupons to like buy more taquitos. That's so nice. We could do one together. Isn't that so nice? That's so cute. I know. Now we just need a King's Kimchi to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If only other brands were like that. I don't know. The only brand that's done something like that for me... This mozzarella cheese is so sticky. I know. It's just one downfall. It like sticks to like your teeth. It's like more than any other cheese I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. Um. But when I did the Thanks Period panties... Oh! <laughs> Senor Bert! Berticus! I'm afraid he's gonna make a leap. I know, he's... It's so funny because he won't get in the frame. So people believe you have to have. I was thinking, I wonder what they think, like, we're doing. We're just like talking really loudly, like, to ourselves. Like, we'll go from, like, sleeping on the couch to like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They must be, like, so confused. And then there's, like, food right in the middle of us. And they're yeah. like, why can't I eat it? I don't get it. But sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Oh, the only brand that sent me something else is, um... What is that? The Thinks Period Panties, she also, the girl who made that also made Tushy, which is a like portable or like an easy to put on bidet. But I think I put it on wrong because it shoots water directly on my back. Like I yeah. cannot figure it out. And I, or maybe, also that toilet is small. Really? Like any like guy who comes over, they're always like, why is your toilet so low? Oh, I think we're just really? used to it. Maybe it's old. Yeah, this whole apartment is old. Mm. I'm devouring this. This is really good. Mm. I feel like I never ordered the meatball sub from like Subway. <laughs> hey, I don't really want a Subway. No offense to Subway, but I like there's Quiznos and really, mm -hmm. never been to Quiznos or D'Angelo's hey? or like I don't know D'Angelo's. Oh, you know what we need to do is which which. Never been there either. I never been there either, but I see it every time I go to like Ventura Boulevard, and I'm like, I don't know. People love that one. Jersey Mike's. That was my first time eating Jersey Mike's on the channel. My Jersey Mike's was okay. Really? That was very wet. I probably ordered the wrong thing. I liked it because it was ginormous. Yeah. It was like the size of this plate. You do? I do love that. Mm -hmm. I like Firehouse subs. Yeah, but there is a Subway. Should we life. just do a sub like series? We have to do Carl's Jr. soon. 
if you guys heard, Carl's Jr. has a vegan hamburger. I've seen it all over IG. Um, but we have to, it's only at certain locations. Yeah, so. and I tried to look up like which locations have it and I couldn't find out that information. So and it's like a guessing game? The cheese isn't vegan and the mayo isn't vegan. So it'd just be like a, a patty with lettuce and Can you have like tomato. ketchup and mustard? Oh yeah, you can do that. I don't even think like hamburgers need mayo. Really? No, I don't think so. Like growing up, we never put, if, if we made hamburgers at home, I never put mayo on it. Yeah. But cheese, Makes sense. you can just add your own slab of cheese if you want. Max actually only orders hamburgers because he hates cheese. Mm. Mm. So it's not that weird. Mm -mm. Mm. Um, Mommy Tang posted another video. Have you watched either one yet? I watched the second one with you. Not the first one. Honestly, still disappointed there is no tea. Oh, but like she's she's time. Yeah, I know, whatever. But I feel like she's dragging it out on purpose for the views. She knows people want the tea. You can't just disappear for a year and then expect people not to be curious. Or if she doesn't want to share it, she should just say like, it's none of your business and then I'll move on. But at the beginning of the last thing, she was like, I know you guys want to know where I've been, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, here it comes. And then she just never, I don't know. Actually, I didn't finish it because I was getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> Too angry to continue. Yeah. But you know what I mean? It's like, just say like, it's none of your business. And then I'd be like, you know what? You're right. It isn't. But she did it. I applaud she, her for the- She played me. Quick baiting, I guess. Oh, you can see Bert's butt. Oh, look. Bert. 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 Nope. <laughs> okay. We forgot to um, mention, look at our friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh. God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Powerful. Yeah, that could have like blown away the camera. <laughs> so, Max got me a pusheen for Christmas that's eating sushi. Look how cute. And then we got this cupcake at the dollar store. Yeah. So cute. We've talked about like having like a nice food pillow spread behind us because this is a couch. Like you can't really decorate it many ways. Mm -hmm. Decorate it. <laughs> can't really decorate it many ways. Um, so we're thinking about doing like food pillows. If you guys have any cute food pillows you want to send us. P.O. Box will be listed in the description. Yeah. We don't really check it. You have to let us know if you're going to send something <laughs> because we're terrible. We don't have like, it's like we don't have mail. Like we're not like Liza Koshi, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like uh, like 15 minutes away from us, which isn't that far, but it's like a little bit far. Yeah. So like we only check it if we like need, need to. Yeah. I was thinking Yellow uh, Claw. Excuse me. Do you know Yellow Claw is the DJs? No. Well, there's some DJs and they're pretty big. Uh. Sorry, there's cheese all right here. <laughs> and I love their shit. And they follow me on Instagram. Mm. And they DM me, they're like, hey, we want to send you some stuff. And I can't remember, I guess I could scroll if I used my P.O. box or my regular address because I never got anything. And then I DM them, I was like, hey, I never got anything. And then they just never DM me back. So I'm like, what if <laughs> it went to my P.O. box and got sent back and they're just like, fuck this girl. Very likely. Yeah. That happened to me once with um, veggie cuts. Felt horrible. Went home for like 4th of July mm -hmm. and they had sent it back by the time I like checked the P.O. box. And you were like, hey. Yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry, my box got sent back. And they were like, it's okay, but we'll never send you on a we'll never speak to you again. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have something to talk about. Yeah, are we gonna talk about it now? It's kinda late. Okay, we can, we can talk about it. What is the laugh? Do you want to say it? Chantal and Fallen. We're moving. We're moving out. Uh. I don't know what to say about it really. What do you want to talk about? Just that we're, we plan to, to keep mukbanging, but it's definitely going to be different, especially I think in this next month, because it's going to be a transition, trying to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, I assume you're just going to come over here and do it while you're getting your life together. I but figured I was just gonna come here anyways. Like, Mac, Max is gonna move in to this house, mm -hmm. apartment. So we're still gonna have like the same setup and everything. But yeah, me and Colin are moving out. We really, I, we never really talked about it before. Like we were just like always like happy and like thought everything was like, we were just gonna live together forever. <laughs> We've been living together for like three years. It's been a while. It's like three and a half years. Ago. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know, one day, Colin, my boyfriend, runs a business from this apartment and Brittany and I work from home 
like doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. And one day he just was like, I need to have my own like space. And literally out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, literally he was just like, I need to move out. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then, <sighs> yeah, so that was a little bit of a stressful time, but that was like maybe like a month ago. Mm -hmm. And we found a little tiny house in like 15 minutes from here, or it's like eight minutes <clears throat> with no traffic. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm really excited, but also like obviously sad to like leave Brittany. Like we never had any issues living together in this house. Mm -mm. Like everything was like great. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I feel really bad. Well, Colin's your partner, so you have to like do what he wants. Do what he wants, or not do what he wants, because you can do whatever you want. And I don't think a man should have control you, so don't ever think that. But it is a partnership, and you want to make sure. I am s struggling right now. Also, I'm not trying to play with my food. I'm just like s stuck to everything. Do you want to like scrape it off with a knife or something? Maybe I'll just like eat it with a fork. Do you want me to get your knife? I can grab it. Okay. One second. Sorry. Anyway. So yeah, I I think that the mukbang is gonna be fine, but obviously like we don't know the future. We don't like I can't predict like how easy this is gonna be, but I'm hoping that it becomes easier because it'll force us to schedule banging more instead of just being like, hey, are you free now? Because we like live together in that convenience. Yeah, I really feel like it might be better. Yeah, but I don't want to assume we're always going to like bang here either because what if Max has, has to film? Like... It can't just be like yeah on. I don't want him to feel like he's forced to like host us all the time. I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, know. but I... if we bang in another place, just know it's Chantal's house. It's not like we're like, I don't know, in like a random hotel room or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I thought it'd be easier for you to, we can totally come to my house. I actually picked out my coffee table like in regards to the mukbang. Really? I was like, this- I think overall it will be easier just because uh, your place is smaller and Colin is talking out loud on the phone a lot. Oh yeah. But in case anything ever happened, like who f knows, I don't know. I just didn't want it to like us to film at your house for something random and then we're just like, oh, by the way, like we don't live together anymore. But anyway, so back to the month. Well, like, oh, by the way, I moved out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just I like it becomes like a a weird thing and they're just, I don't know, I don't want you guys to feel left out of the loop. Yeah, I feel like I explain that so awkwardly and like giggly and like uncomfortable, but yeah. I feel really bad for leaving Brittany, as we guys should know, but we worked it out. Yeah. And it's just hard, like, just we like, are best friends like it's not easy to make a decision like this when nothing is wrong i feel like i want you to take it personally too yeah like it literally this is colin's decision and i just had to like kind of go with it i mean i've always wanted like my own place like when i say like you were like oh you're talking to your friend like you're so excited like i'm just so excited i've always wanted to decorate my own house mm -hmm. and like I'm gonna be able to garden. There's like a yard with a fence. Like I'm really excited for the house, but like obviously I like I'm gonna be sad to leave too. Yeah. I think for me, a it's stressful mm -hmm. because I don't want to live with a stranger. Yeah, that's like I had to figure that out too. We've been so lucky that like not only are we like so happy living together, but we also like decided to make a business together. Like, cause as much fun as mukbang is, like we want this to be like a future for us to find someone you not only like enough to live with but to also like trust enough i just knew that would not not even like my equipment but just like i don't know that i want to like split money with you it's like mm. a huge talk like i i don't know like a, a, a sign i don't know just like how close we are yeah but i'm not with a running match person. yeah and i just was like nobody else will fucking compare and i wasn't 100 percent sure about max because it was so quick that when colin decided to like when they would move out to win everything was happening and I'm glad it worked out, but it's it's also just scary because me and Max have never lived together. We've been dating for three years, but this is like the next step of our relationship that just kind of got like- Smashed together? Yeah, it was like, are you guys ready to move in? Because it, like it's, it was a lot because it was just like, I feel like moving in with somebody is kind of like- A big step? Yeah, like a really big step. Like if this doesn't work out, us living together, like that just means we're gonna break up. That's what I thought about me and Colin moving in here. Yeah, but I it's read... a super scary thing. Yeah, this is kind of off topic, but I've read an article that was like, um, like millennial, millennial couples like, 
live together way earlier now just based on the fact of like money. Mm-hmm. No, it's for way her. cheaper to live together than live by yourself. So people be moving in earlier. And I would rather live with somebody before like marriage or anything like that because you really do learn a lot about a person and if you vibe by living with them. Because mm-hmm. you decide like, does the way they brush their teeth bother you? Like, it's like little stuff like that you would never know until you lived with somebody. Yeah. So, and I feel like back in the day, like you'd get married and then live with somebody and then you'd find out all these shitty things and then you get a divorce. Like, hopefully, like, this is, I don't know, this is just me talking out of my ass, but hopefully by people like living together before they get married, there are less like divorces. Cause I feel like all of like, our parents' generation, like over half of them are divorced. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a huge statistic. Hmm. I'd like to see like the rates. Because mm-hmm. that's true, like, like my parents got married at like 21 and 23. I mean, they're still together. They're, I think they're like an outlier. I never tell people like, you should marry your <laughs> high school sweetheart because I'm like, well, but I just know a couple that have worked. But overall, I, I guess I lean towards the side of playing it safe. Yeah. No, that's really smart because once you live with someone, like, not only like if little things bother you, but like you, like how like reliable they are and like responsible. Oh my god, my computer is hooked up to my phone. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, how do I undo that? It's so annoying. And then I can't click anything unless I press like accept or decline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then you're just hanging up on everyone. Yeah. Like, but yeah, that's really um, that's a good point. So yeah, I think it was hard. We haven't talked about it because it was. A, if you guys were trying to find a place, You're I was still, trying like, to, it out. yeah, we were still like getting the logistics cleared up, like finding a place, Max moving in. It was a stressful end of 2018, but it's all worked out. It's fine. And I don't think that we will let the mukbang like be affected. Yeah. No, I really think we're going to have to plan our videos like weeks in advance. Like, I feel like that's going to be so good for us. Yeah. Like we're always going to like be ahead of the game. Versus like today, well, I guess I picked these up like a week ago. Usually we're like, what do you want to eat? And then we like think about it. And then we like go to the grocery store. store. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's true. At least with like food wise, we'll like always have a plan. Yeah. And then that's going to help us plan our own shit too. Because like Wednesday I'm filming this. So Monday I got to film my own video. Yeah. Uh, But I just feel like something that we'll have to do is like, if somebody's like, hey, can you come watch my cat for my, this Monday and be like, no, I have a scheduled, I have an appointment. Yeah. Like, let me, like I want to take, I, it, I always feel guilty because I'm like, people are like, it shouldn't be about the money or the numbers or blah, blah, blah. But it's like, if you want to take something seriously, you need to look at it as a business. And I like want it to be like a business hour. Totally. Even if it is like, I get to hang, my business is hanging out with my best friend eating. Like, Fuck yeah, why do you think I'm doing this in the first place? Like, you gotta <laughs> love your job. <laughs> but. I don't know. I think it's all gonna work out. I think I just have major anxiety. Really? Yeah. It's more so I'm more nervous about like Max than us. Really? Yeah. But I just want to make sure he's happy. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Um. So that's the tea. Brittany hates me and is never gonna <laughs> forgive me. Sorry if I was just so awkward explaining that. I just. I just still feel bad for making Britney change her whole life around. I think I'm sad because it's like an end of an era. Like, I love living with you, but I, I'm excited because I think it's like necessary for like, yeah, mo- moving on in life. I could be very happy and complacent, like living in our little like family home with our cats and whatever, but like. I know, I was sad to like sign the lease, honestly. Maybe it'd be better. We have two different places to film. Yeah. Like, I am so excited to decorate. You have no idea. I'm gonna film a decorating vlog and a movie vlog. I know, I gotta, I don't know if I'm gonna make a vlog. That like Max moving in. But my furniture and all this stuff is gonna be the same. Most of the shit is mine. Yeah, the whole, this is all yours. That's yeah. why I'm excited to like file my living room stuff. Yeah. All right, well. Hey, kitty. Sorry, Brittany. Oh, it's fine. Ruin your life. <laughs> it's a change of pace that was bound to happen. Just real quick. Yeah, it just happened in a month. <laughs> We're moving out next week. <laughs> yeah, I knew. Oh, yeah. And it would be awkward too if we like didn't say anything on the mukbang channel. <laughs> You're like moving vlog. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, maybe that'd be more tea. Maybe we should have done that. 
Oh shit. I'm deleting this. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us for this meatball sub mukbang. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Comment below what you think about us moving. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what you think because uh, it's happening. <laughs> Just kidding, no. Comment below, uh, just give, giving us a supportive love and letting us know that you're excited for this next chapter in our life. Yeah. And hopefully we can like lock down the Fridays. Like I wanna bring those back. With the um, live streams you know? or either, even just like posting in general. Oh, like yeah. somebody else commented the other day like, just post more, like then you'll grow. And I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's, it's not a bad idea. You know what I mean? So I think it'd be <clears throat> easier if we didn't have our personal channels, but. Yeah, and like also aspirations as like dancers. Yeah. You know, all these goals. Too many goals. Yeah. Well, I'm Thank sorry you. once again. Uh, <laughs> I'm literally the most <laughs> awkward person in the entire- Everyone's gonna be so uncomfortable watching this. <laughs> They're gonna be like cringe warning. <laughs> we could just add that in. We've this never... isn't like a breakup. Like we weren't like, let's make a breakup video. Like we, I was just like, oh, we should talk about this. And then we didn't, we should have like, thought about how to say it, but yeah. I, I just was like, I don't know, like you're moving out. You're like, yeah. <laughs> but like, I feel like breakup videos, people are like, they're like, we have something to tell you. Uh, We're not on that. I don't know, I guess. <gasps> Should we remake the thumbnail like this? Yeah. All the food's gone. God damn it. All right, well, we love you guys so much and we'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday, Monday out. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> you have to do the shoulders. I'm trying to get in character. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that makes me angry. Kicking dogs.